And welcome back, guys, to part 23 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Oh my god, I am finally back playing this game. And uh, for all those people that are probably watching this way later on in my LPing career, yeah, if you look at the dates of these past videos, it's been uh, quite a few months since I last played this game. And oh, I've just been having this itch that I need to scratch to uh, play some more RPGs and. I thought, you know, I'm already doing once, so there's no point in starting a new one when I still got one waiting in the wings for me to play, and it has been way too long since I played this game. So without further ado, I guess it is time that uh, we do what we were doing last time, which I do believe we were after the Dreamstone um, to uh, recreate the uh, Masamune. But anyway, we got one Berserker, that's probably important for something. But, nevertheless, we are back in the combat system that we also know and love. Let's see, uh, there's no way... Oh, there was a way to get all four there. That really sucked. Alright, so let's just robo tackle. I believe it... Is it that one up top? Go up there. Get up there, thank you. Now for some robo tackle. That should take care of the rest. But, nevertheless... I have been just having way, way too much fun with handhelds right now. It feels actually really weird playing with a, like a, a solid controller. Because I've been playing so much like Wii and uh, handheld devices that it's just not the same. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah. Oh, it feels good to actually just be able to sit down and record though. It has been way too long for me. I've just been really, really busy as of late, you know, so whatever time I actually get to myself, I, I sort of just, like, sit around when I could actually be doing, you know, a bunch of different things. I could be doing and working on my parodies, or I could be, you know, actually recording LPs, and I just don't seem to get the time to do that. It's not even, like I said, it's not even the fact that I don't have the time, it's just I feel like I'm so overworked because I'm studying right now, and I'm also going to work and doing like you know five nights a week of night shift and it's just really been bogging me down and not allowing me to focus on the things that I really truly love and which is one of them of course is bringing entertainment of LPs to you guys so I feel really bad that I haven't been like on top of it every single day like I kind of promised but you know push comes to shove you guys seem to understand you viewers are always been very good understanding folk so what can I say right <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, over the holiday season, there wasn't very much uh, going on, other than the fact that uh, I have a test in a couple of days that I'm taking. It's it's sort of a state test. It, they call it a state test, but I'm from Canada, so it's kind of weird. It's uh, allowing me to... Um, it's supposed to test my knowledge and my understanding of not only the teenage psychology, but also the, the information and courses that are needed to actually teach high school here in Ontario. So it's one of these big tests that I have a license to teach, you know, grade eight and under, but I am really, I'm really gung ho about teaching, you know, much older students because I feel like, I, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I connect with them better or that you just sort of I like having kids and people that have a, somewhat of a head on their shoulders, even if it's misguided or whatever you want to call it, you know, immature and all that type of stuff. At least they're able to make, you know, decisions. And they, either you're sort of a teacher, you're not someone that they follow. Follow. Ah, it's hard to explain. And this test is is really really important to me because if I don't make it, then it's it's sort of like I have to wait like six months and I just have to try again and it's not just on what you write and the knowledge you know but how you are as a person and it's it's sometimes daunting for me a little bit but that's just a little bit of personal stuff out of the way and now that I've sort of vented it and apparently I'm being slow because of it <laughs> yes yes I'm coming Ayla uh, but nevertheless what can we do right now that's off my chest. I feel a lot better, you know. It's 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 good to uh, it's good to express your your feelings sometimes when, you know, <laughs> you're just sort of by yourself. But nevertheless, I'll pass that test. I promise you guys. You're one of the reptiles. I beat you up. Oh, I'm not a reptile. Do I look like a reptile to you, buddy? I don't think so. Drink sweet water. Grow strong when drink. Uh, sure. 
Sweet water it is. Yeah, HP and MP restored and we're we're hungry. We're not hungry. Or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that stupid joke needs to go out the window. But man oh man. I one thing that this game actually sparked in my head, I was just thinking of uh Chrono Trigger and time and stuff like that. And I started remembering parts of my childhood. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys watched um where in time is Carmen San Diego, the game show? Oh my goodness. I had to like quickly go out and find the actual intro to the song. And I'm kind of bummed that there isn't an instrumental because I would totally write a song about Chrono Trigger using that song because it sounds fantastic. If any of you out there are good with synthesizing music, please, please see if you can make me an instrumental. I will be so happy. But that aside, we are uh, apparently getting a feast dedicated to us with big fat lobsters and guppy fish and black charred meat and I guess soup and rocks. I think they're actually serving rocks. <laughs> but nevertheless, unga, unga. I think they're supposed to be uga, not unga. Oh, whatever. No, we dance. All right, yay! It's party time! It's party time! It's party time! Hey, everybody! It's party time! Woohoo! Can I actually dance? I can't actually remember. I thought you could. Uh, Waga bunga munga people dance with the wind. And apparently, it's being sung. And hey, you look pretty cool. What's your name? All right, your name's Kino. You outsiders, but Ayla give party. Why? Oh, he's not being nice. Whatever. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's gonna be a poopy face. Good music. We passed down to many generations. All right. It is pretty, pretty snazzy. I wonder. No, well, it doesn't look like we can dance. I thought you could dance here. Whatever. What do you got to say, Luca? They're twisting my arm. What? What do you mean they're twisting your arm? It's like they're forcing her to, to party? This is no time to celebrate. <laughs> oh, come on, Robo. We took care of a bunch of reptites. What can... What could possibly go wrong with our party? All right, Ayla, what do you got to say? Chrono, eat, sing, dance! All right. That's that's what I'm doing. I, I can't dance, but I'm, I'm going to try. Maybe I light myself on fire. No, nope. you don't want me to light yourself on fire? No, okay, Chrono. I understand. Uh, I, guess I, I guess I haven't gotten to that point yet. Chrono, you try special Jurassic pork soup. Good stuff. Ayla fight reptiles. Their leader, Azala. Very smart. All in Ioka village fight. No fight go to Labura, La Ruba, La Ruba village, La Ruba. That sounds actually familiar. I don't know what that is. But uh, anyway, don't you know where village is? Always hide. Azela want to destroy Ioka and La Ruba. But Ila no lose. Only when Ila dead give up. Enough. Meet Chrono today. Good day. Eat, party, sing, dance. All right. So I guess we can dance. Can we dance now? No, no dancing. Maybe this person will allow me to dance. Ungo Ungo, we dance with the mountain people. Alrighty. Looks like they've changed their song. Sing and dance all night. Alright, looks like, uh, looks like Luca's having some fun. Yum, Krona, you gotta try some poi. Alright, spoon it up! Let's spoon this shit! Are you a man or are you a mouse? Do it in one gulp! I'm a man! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Burp. Uh-oh. Yeah, I have a feeling that this act, this soup or this poi isn't actually soup. Yeah. Yum. Chrono, gotta try some poi. Yeah, let's do it again. Yes, am I a man or a mouse? I'm gonna get hammered on poi. This is gonna be great. <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> if you look at Robo, his eyes are blinking. I don't think he's able to handle it. What are you doing there, Robo? What an unpleasant substance, and so many bugs in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are bugs in the soup, or the poi, or whatever. That's that's pretty awesome. I'll give it that. Chrono, you look for red rock? Yes, I do. Rare red rock sign of power. Ayla strongest in Ioka village. So Ayla rock. Oh, so this is Ayla's rock. Sorry, so Ayla rock. Actually, that sounds better than this, this Ayla rock. <laughs> but whatever. You want, you challenge Ayla. You win, then Ayla give to you. Oh, right. 
Button mashing. Yes, I'm going to challenge you. That rock is mine. Bring plenty soup. Party now, so eat. Chrono and Ayla have soup race. All right, so it's time to mash the A button like a freakazoid. Here we go. And I'm going to let you guys listen in to this mashing of A. Yeah, listen to that. Oh, yeah. God, I gotta get my Mega Man finger on. You know, I don't know. It's been a long time since I really had to mash. Oh, I hope I'm doing this. I think I'm beating her. I think I'm beating her. I don't know. Am I beating her? My hand starts to hurt. Enough, Chrono, you win. I give you rock. Yay! Mega Man hand still works. And I think I broke my finger. But that's okay. Okay, eat. Maybe eat too much. All right, so we are going to get slammed on pork rind soup or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we, uh, slept all night. Good, good morning. That soup seems to affect humans. Phew. What? Liar. I was a perfect lady last night. But why does my tummy hurt so... Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling in the Japanese version that was not soup. I think that was pretty much alcohol. Hey, who made these footprints? It's, it's gone! The gate key's been taken! Oh my god, circuit. <laughs> yeah. These prints were left by the thief. Or they were left by everybody at the party. I never thought that. I mean, I guess they have three, they're three-fingered toes and stuff. Three-fingered toes. My god, I need some sleep. <laughs> Three-toed feet. There we go. Without it, we're stuck here forever. This isn't funny. Let's go see Ayla. You would think that Luca would have made, you know, like a couple more uh, gate keys, so that couldn't happen. Though leaving a gate key in the past would probably be a bad idea. Huh? Chrono, you up already? Yeah. Too much soup. Sleep like stone. Burp. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, but we've been robbed. What? What? Must be reptites. Oh, let's just blame the lizards right off the bat for everything that's woven in the world. <laughs> Chrono, come with Ayla. We settle with reptites. Who else come? Hmm. That is a big question on who I want. Probably you'll want a healer because it eh, it's one of those things where if you bring Marley, I do believe that Ayla and her can mix their cure spells together so they can do like a double heal. But I'm not too sure, but I find Robo more useful just because of the wide variety of attacks that he has. So unfortunately, we're going to leave Luca behind. This is pretty much my team that I normally use throughout the game. Like, I will, I, just because of the LP, and I don't know how you guys want me to, I think I may have asked this question before, is do you want me to switch between party members, or do you just want me to keep the team that I usually have, which is usually Ayla, Robo, and Chrono. That's usually my team throughout most of the game, but nevertheless, I think it is time that we head off in the direction of wherever they took our stuff, which sucks. Where did they take our stuff? Let's see. Well, come, or oh, well, come, if you come. Fang, pedal, horn, feather. Bring three of each of any two items. I give you one weapon or item. What you give me? You have nothing, so no trade. Alright, so how this actually works is apparently there's a place uh, to the north. I, I don't feel like talking to these people, but um, how it works is you're supposed to trade these horns, feathers, and whatever to, um, you know, get more equipment. So get sort of like the, the best equipment for this type of area, or this area anyway, is you need to trade these items. And the best way to do it is up here in this northern section, which is not the way to where the gate key is. It's sort of just an optional place the dactyl nest and it's good to actually come here right now because there's a lot of good experience and tech points here that we can muster up but nevertheless let's let's do a couple of combat and then uh we'll climb this in the next episode but the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you take out these schists or schists first uh, mostly because they um are the counter attack for the cave ape if you attack him he'll pick up the rock and chuck it at you so it's mostly best to take care of them first and then taking care of the apes afterwards because uh, their counterattack is actually more powerful than anything or any damage they can dish out. But that's all that I can remember about this, so he shouldn't be able to counterattack now. 
because we're going to take him out with awesome critical damage from uh, Ayla. <laughs> she is a powerhouse. I do believe her, her fists level up depending upon her actual level because she doesn't actually get equipment for her hands as much as everybody else. I do believe she gets one or two, but nothing along the lines of what Robo and Chrono could get, sort of, right? All right, so let's actually see if we can do a combo. Let's see, Max Cyclone. There we go. Max Cyclone this up. This this looks awesome. I don't know if I've shown this off yet. There we go. Like, grabs onto him and just swings him around. It's fantastic. Alrighty then. Let's get our tech points. I should get Kiss. Yeah, there we go. Kiss is Ayla's uh, uh, healing move or whatever. And she's very much like Robo, and the fact is she doesn't have an element attached to her because, well, she comes from 65 million BC where magic really hadn't even been thought of or even seen yet. So she doesn't actually have a magic property, um, which means that she can't actually help. Uh, via magic, but she gets a ton of killer abilities just like uh, just like Robo does. Actually, I should be using Robo's laser spin here. It's very good against these enemies, I do believe. But we shall see. Maybe I should uh, give it a test drive. Alright, so we'll just attack this. When Robo gets his turn, we're going to take care of it like men. There we go. Let's do it like a man would. Laser spin! Pew pew! Robo, you are a beast, good sir. Why did that do zero damage to that guy? That's kind of interesting. Eh, not important. <laughs> I think it may actually have to do with that his type changes when he opens up. Because now he should be able to attack, if I remember correctly. But they're way too slow for their own good, so... Yeah. Looks like we're kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. Or bubblegumming and chewing ass. I don't know. Whichever one it is, I think this would be a good time to stop. I'm going to try and keep these parts relatively to the same as they were before. So, in the next part, we are going to uh, quickly climb the dactyl nest. See if we can pick up some extra items before we go after our gate key. So, with that, you guys take care. Stay frosty. And uh, even though this part's over, you're still hungry.